we have been able to hold ourselves above the stereotype. And in five minutes, she took it away. We never thought as black women we would be right here, but we are. It's not something you can brush under the rug, but you've got to address this. Hey, 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 hey. Hold up, hold up, hold all the way up, y'all. The trailer for The Real Housewives of Potomac Season 5 is finally here, and I feel like Bravo is giving us legendary Real Housewives of Atlanta vibes in this trailer because it is full of shade, scandals, and drama just the way we like it. It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And today, let's watch this RHOP trailer that Bravo just released and find out what to expect this season on The Real Housewives of Potomac. And then we'll chat. This season on The Real Housewives of Potomac. Yes, there we go. My people. <laughs> Portugal! <laughs> Are you doing your makeup? Are you trying to put some highlight on? We don't play in the pee, honey. <laughs> I just peed on a stick. Oh. Oh, that's a whole nother can of Wendy is Black Girl Magic personified. A snake skin body fold. Yes. She could read a book, honey, and she could read you down. So I am a professor at Johns Hopkins University. Bye, Wendy. Dr. Wendy, address me correctly, sweetie. I mean, I guess that PhD comes in handy. It would be nice if some of the pressure's taken off of me. Put the phone down. Okay, well, make sure you yourself set up on the for Are you in love with me? But over time, things change. I'm done. Don't act like like our marriage was awesome. I didn't say that. We've been together 25 years. I left in a heart. I want to have a conversation with you about the problem. Does she know we're here? No. That right there is not an institution. I don't have this the sex drive that I used to have. When was the last time you were happy? So unless I'm with you. I can't be happy. Several strippers. What? Oh my god. He was asking who he can take to a hotel nearby. This is like it. We ended up going back to a hotel. <sighs> Mind your business! This is my Mind business! I'm gonna ask y'all in my house to I'm lower your voices! You want drag me to Do you want me to say it? Drag me! Get off of me! Get off of me! Hold on! Hold on! I by no means wants to be near you. And maybe I don't need to be a part of this anymore. Oh, days, ah! Five years, boo boo, and we're going strong. Okay, let me just give y'all a second to catch your breath and get your wig situated because. This is what the f I'm talking about. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Um, first of all, what just happened? I feel like I saw Ashley's husband back in some mess involving him cheating on her again. I just hope that this time he was nice enough to be cheating with another woman at least. And did, <laughs> and did the queen Karen Huger really do a whole Beyonce performance at another one of her fabulous parties? And yeah, it looks like this season is just going to be crazy. I tried to ignore all of this tea about Candace and Monique because I didn't want to have to pick the side too early because if I had to pick the side, y'all already know it would be Monique. And I just wanted to see how Bravo was going to handle this. And apparently, it's handled. They brought it in this trailer, y'all. And I am so glad that I am not the only one over here shook all by myself because the reactions to this trailer have been off the chain with some fans commenting saying this s is going to be amazing omg with the crying face emoji used twice and Ms. Zoe commented saying i've been telling y'all rhop being lit much better than rhoa yep i said it <laughs> and she hit us with that see no evil emoji because she know what she said was some bull before another fan commented, so you're telling me we have to wait until May? Question mark, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Why? With the crazy face emoji. <laughs> and another Housewives fan joined the chat saying, Ooh, Lord. Yes, this is going to be lit. Move Atlanta, Potomac for the win, exclamation point, exclamation point. Yeah, I don't know why y'all keep trying to play my Atlanta girls, but for this one video, 
I'll allow it. <laughs> For now, until y'all get y'all selves together, I'll just go ahead and start with these looks. And to be honest, all I can really say is yes. 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 And oh, wait a minute. Now, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifty million 10, 11, 50 million housewives? Oh no, but Atlanta can only get five or six? Hold the f up. 911, what's your emergency? Hello, yes, 911. I need to get in touch with Bravo. Sir, this line is for emergencies only. Well, what do you call this? Hello? <coughs> this is for Rachel, you big, fat, white, man, smelling fat. <laughs> Hello? Andy, we deserve 50 peach holders as well. Who is this? Those Potomac girls got seven wives, and we can barely get six. What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? Hello? <laughs> That's all right. I'm going to still get to the bottom of this. <laughs> yes, there are so many things I want to talk about from this trailer, but if I had to choose one word for the season of Real Housewives of Potomac, I would choose drama. It looks like everybody is going through it, and we love to see it. But no, seriously, I really can't go any further without talking about my good sis Monique. Protect this black queen at all costs, bravo. Do y'all hear me? Protect Monique Samuels at all costs. Maybe I don't need to be a part of this anymore. It breaks my heart to see my good sis like this because she looks stressed. And I know that time and time again, she gets the short end of the stick with some of these girls being so jealous and trying to make her look so bad. And if you watch the show, you know what I'm talking about. And this time, from the looks of this trailer, these girls have finally backed Monice in a corner and Giselle is the main one sitting over there taking every chance she gets to throw it in her face. We have been able to hold ourselves above the stereotype. And in five minutes, she took it away. And Giselle, let me tell you something. Fans are on to you, sis. You have been a Monique hater from the moment that she stepped foot on this show. And I get it. It's hard out here for a washed up, shady preacher's wife. And I know that it has to suck to be running around Potomac thinking that everyone was going to see you as the queen of this show. When even before Monique took the crown, we were standing the grind down and we never really saw it for you. <laughs> Now, I don't do this often, so y'all can just blame it on the Rona because I am sick and tired of this. Shame on you, Giselle, for trying to accuse Monique of setting back the whole race when you've peddled scrub after scrub all through your house, fishing for a storyline, all in your girl's face while slamming their father so viciously every chance you got. Only to be sitting back there in his face for a Bravo check? Girl, for a storyline? Ooh, child, the ghetto. Allegedly. All this is a legend. <laughs> and I'm glad that I'm not alone in my feelings about this one with Real Housewives of Potomac fans chiming in commenting. First off, I don't like how they trying to portray Monique. And another Housewives fan responded, I stand Monique that much more before my good sis wanted all the smoke saying, about what Giselle? You've been a walking stereotype since day one. Hater, using Monique's situation to ice her out. You've been hating on her since day one. And another Monique fan chimed in saying, Giselle doing her best to get Mo off the show. I can't be around you, AKA I refuse to film with you and I'll continue to run with the angry black woman narrative by not supporting you and the mistake that you made. Yeah, fans are over it. And I guess there's a lot of you guys who want the backstory. So I'll try to get into it without spilling all the tea and ruining the show. This situation between RHOP co-stars Monique Samuels and Candace Dillard got pretty intense back in November when both Monique and Candace had accused the other of second degree assault, resulting in them both pressing charges in Maryland. According to official reports, this all stemmed back to an incident between the two ladies on October 16th, 2019, where they threw them hands during a dinner party that was being filmed for the upcoming season of The Real Housewives of Potomac. 
I remember hearing about this tea and giving Candace the side eye because from what I saw at first she was the one playing the victim and pressing charges against Monique. Now I hated how hush hush things got but now after watching this live video from Monique it all makes sense. During the months where we weren't um, you know when we were filming I decided to just keep quiet because I want to respect the process and at the end of the day the show is what we're trying to make successful and I didn't want to talk and reveal too much about what was currently going on um, and then spoil the whole season so you know I chose to be quiet people came to whatever conclusions people threw out whatever theories they wanted to throw out Yes, Monique made the decision to let us speculate while keeping quiet and I appreciate her not really wanting to spoil the show because again, this did all go down on camera. But she did admit that it was not easy. How hard was it to keep quiet? It was very hard to keep quiet, especially when other people keep running their mouths. Um, so that was quite difficult. Um, I had a little chat with God and he said, shut up. Um, so Candace actually wanted you away from your kids and go to jail. Um, either that or it was a money grab. Catch. Thankfully, last December, People Magazine released official statements from both Monique Samuels and Candace Dillard confirming that all charges have been dropped and the ladies have moved forward, leaving this drama behind them. But I cannot wait to see how this all plays out on TV, and I just hope that Monique doesn't leave the show because of this. If you walk next season, we are all leaving with you. <laughs> oh, come on you now. Y'all know the show will always go on. What do you guys think about this situation? Are you team Candace or are you team Monique? Bravo is asking that we be prepared to put this season in the Housewives Hall of Fame when Real Housewives of Potomac returns Sunday night, May 3rd at 9 p.m. only on Bravo. Thanks so much for watching this video. Comment right now and let me know what you think about where things are headed for season five of The Real Housewives of Potomac. And I'll definitely be hearting my favorite comments. Lastly, if you watched my videos before and you still haven't subscribed, stop hurting my feelings and let's make things official. Um, yeah, you. Go ahead and slam that subscribe button right now. Thanks again for watching this video. Join us in the comments below and of course, I'll see you housewives on the next one.